let p q r s and t be five statements such that if p is true then both q and s are true that is when p is true both q and s are true if r and s are true then t is false if r and s are true then t is false which of the following can be concluded conclusion 1 if t is true then at least one of p and r must be false let's check when t is true here from the second statement when t is false r and s is true that means when t is true r and s must be false so we already find the status of r when t is true that is r is false here so conclusion 1 seems to be correct but let's check the status of p also here when t is true s is false so if you look at the first statement when both q and s are true that means p is true so here when s is false but we don't know the status of q here so p can be true or false p may be true or false because we don't know the status of q here so we can't find the status of p here because we don't know the status of q but conclusion 1 is correct because at least one of p and r must be false here r is already false so conclusion 1 is correct and if you look at the conclusion 2 if q is true then p is true if q is true but we don't know the status of s here from the first statement when both q and s are true p is true but when q is true and we don't know the status of s then we cannot find the status of p so conclusion 2 is incorrect select the correct answer using the codes given below here answer to this question is option a statement 1 only is correct conclusion 1 only is correct